not sitting as particularly high as we're used to seeing them in the Eastern Conference standings of the USL Championship, but all that pushed aside for a spot in the round of 16. Still, we're trying to work out the kinks as to exactly who is going to be that guy that came all the way back to receive the ball and then play make out of that position. There was a guy named Miggy Almiron who used to do that as Fontes. It takes it on the first time, and Charleston Battery out of a poor mistake out of the back from Atlanta United take a 1 0 lead. Instantly making an impact. Look at the little press coming out of the back. Well done by A.J. Patterson. Just a nice little step in, quick little ball back. Argentinian Martinez orchestrating another Atlanta United attack. And Mar Mario Williams forcing another save out of Phil Brino. Across his body, you'll see a quick little flick with the right foot of his. But a good job. See, it's out. Relatively centered this free kick. A little bit off to the right. Plenty of work to do for Phil Brino. It's P.T. Martinez. It's a good effort and Brino makes a terrific save. P.T. Martinez from another corner. Brino off of his line and it's pushed over the line. Atlanta United find their equalizer. And it's Romario Williams against his former club in the Charleston Battery. 1-1 here at fifth third. PT, something off the training ground. Long ball to the back post, and the goalkeeper just gets it wrong. That outstretched arm, not enough to get there. As it comes all the way back across, Miles Robinson. Back for Piggott. And the referee is going to blow the whistle on regulation. My goodness. Marum trying to slide it through. Could be on here. Vasquez! Atlanta United, the go-ahead goal in the 111th minute. And it's the youngster, Brandon Vasquez, who came on as a substitute that might have just gave Frank DeBoer his first ever U.S. Open Cup win. And unfortunately, Reno just gets in the way here a little bit. Miscommunication, and what a way to make your debut. Have to plan account for festivals and concerts and all of those things that can come into play. Chance here for Charleston. Good effort. At the top of the box from Candela, and that fizzing effort in front. Loose in front, and here's Daly! But it's offside. And that might have been the only opportunity that they get, but here they go again. As that's a good scoop ball over the top chance here, but Shua, it's off the crossbar! Marini up and over the top, going vertical on the bounce. But Shua judges everything almost. It's just right there. Slip through. Merrim all the way across. Vasquez again! Brandon Vasquez, two goals in the second half of extra time. And Atlanta United will march on to take the Columbus crew in the round of 16. Versus Atlanta United, great ball into the back post. Brandon Vasquez making his Number debut. 19, Semi-finals in the span of five years. That's going all the way back to 1999. That was the year that Raging Rhinos would win over Colorado Rapids, and unfortunately it just was never enough against Atlanta United. Brandon Vasquez scores two goals in the second half of extra time, and Atlanta United will move on to the round of 16 to take on the Columbus crew.